during our time of consecrating before the Lord prior to this meeting. I began to hear him clearly. I was just like Job was when he said, and I looked to my left and I couldn't find him. Looked to my right, I couldn't find him. I went forward and I couldn't perceive him. I went backwards. I just didn't know where he was. But the very next verse said, but he knows the way that I take. And when he has tried me, I shall come forth as pure gold. And I believe that there comes a time in our lives where in all of our expertise in ministry, we will hit a place in the Lord where we begin to search for him and we can't find him. And sometimes it will appear as if he has gone from us and he's not near us. And if we're not careful, we will be still operating with the same gifts and the same callings. But in the midnight hour where we normally feel him, we can't find him. Isn't this something when you, when you have to keep going because you have a position, but you can't find God? <laughs> An awesome thing when you have to keep preaching, and keep singing, and keep playing the piano and playing the drums, but the way you used to know the Lord, you don't know him like that. You can't, you can't find the simplicity in just being able to raise your hands up in your own house. And there was a time when just you would whisper Jesus and you would feel the power of God from the top of your head down to the soles of your feet. There was a time when I was driving my car and you would just begin to sing all him and you would just feel the glory of God. Just feel your car. But now we are working for God that we don't even really know because when the Lord begins to move by his spirit he is a progressive God and he begins to change and he begins to switch and he begins to speak and things that he spoke yesterday he's not saying that today and you can be a person that heard him yesterday and can't hear him today and living off of yesterday's word thinking that you know God and God is not even around he's nowhere near you but he said I'm coming to a time now in the end time that I'm putting a seek down on the inside of those that are mine because everybody ain't mine a lot of people coming but they're not mine a lot of people dancing and shouting but they're not mine he said my sheep they know my voice and a stranger huh? meeting the world they will not said, when you're mine, I speak, and they come out. It's a very, very, very strange thing. I think that was one of the most powerful things the Lord ever said to me. He said, when they're mine, I speak, and they come out. When they're mine, I speak a word, and whatever they're in, they come out. So I began to seek him, asking him, because I knew tonight that I couldn't miss. I said, God, I can't, because you know, it's beyond uh, having an opportunity to stand on a major platform because the greatest part about this whole thing is you're standing before God's people and they're waiting for the next word and they're waiting to hear what it is God is saying. People ain't studying us. Come on, we better understand that. 
People don't care nothing about you as a person. They just want to know, do you have a word from the Lord? And, and, and so people didn't spend all of their money and all of their time and all of their effort to come here tonight to see me. Of course you didn't come to see me. The Lord said they came to hear a word from me because the times and the seasons are changing. I can feel something as a prophet of God in the atmosphere that I have never felt before. And the thing that I'm feeling the most is that I, it's, it's, it's really unbelievable to me as I watch this thing, but it's not so much as the persecution that the church is about to encounter from the world, but the church is about to persecute the church. Uh -huh. There's a split that's coming in the kingdom of God, and it's going to be the righteous against the form of godliness that is denying the power thereof. And I'm not trying to mess with anybody's uh, whatever you 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 call yourself doing, but the Holy Ghost said to me that it's time that somebody stood up and called for the righteous because a lot of this junk that we're allowing in the church is not God. And he said the church now, oh, come on here, somebody. It's time to call the church out of the world. Call the church out of the world. Somebody ain't going to help me say that today, but he said, he said that to me in the prayer. He said, call the church out of the world. 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 Call them. And I know that I'm not probably going to get a whole lot of a whole lot of amens tonight but I listen 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 there's a charge that the Holy Ghost has put in my belly and he began to say to me it's time to cry out and spare not he said now he said I'm looking for those that are mine but they hid among the mess and the junk that's in the body of Christ you can't hardly tell the world from the church and we all in here dancing and we all in here shouting but God want to know where where is the church that I died for? Where is the church that I went on the cross for? Oh, oh, I had somebody to say to me, you are strange. And, and I gotta, you know, I sometimes I find myself trying to explain you to people. And I said, no, I'm not strange. No, 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 no. He said, what's happening is the, listen, the church done got strange and funny on God. No, 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 I'm not strange, honey. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not weird. You know what it is? We haven't gone far enough in God to be purified. Listen, listen, listen. We can't take nobody to their deliverance when we have not been purified ourselves. And it's to the point now where, oh my God, my God, we're looking at people that are like myself and and you have the audacity to call us strange. <laughs> Let me help you with something tonight. If you're just impressed with wearing a new suit, you won't even get this. If you're just impressed because you got connections in the body of Christ, you won't even get this. And one of the reasons why you won't get it because you're here illegally. Oh yeah, come on, come on, we're gonna, we, uh -huh, we gonna go somewhere with this tonight. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because see, see, understand what 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 God is saying about about Dominion Camp Meeting. And, and, and see, I can't get away from this thing. And I'm trying my best to do it like everybody else do it. But God said, understand why you're here. Pastors and evangelists and teachers understand why you're here. You're here to get the next temperature of God. This is not the place to come and give your card and get connections and behind the room. He said, this is the place to find out what is God saying? What is God doing? Where is God going? What is God going to do next? No, I don't want no music because that's what's wrong now. 